Dummy, dummy. <笑> Let's see, is it connected? はい、行きますよ。フィカノンズ、きっと愛楽。<笑>おはようございます。こんにちは。Hi everyone, フィ here as always from Tokyo, Japan. Oh my, this is loud. <笑> This is the fifth episode of f i k a n o s k i d o a i r a k u podcast. Now that we are doing June, it means that I've been doing this podcast for the whole May. I've been doing four episodes, it means that I've cleared one month of this podcast. Yay! Thank you everyone for the support. Thank you for listening. Thank you for giving me a message and comment and sharing and liking. I enjoy this a lot. Even though sometimes my words are still all over the place, of course. I still have lots of lots of i d e a of what to talk about, which I like the most. <laughs> Having a content is truly something that I'm grateful for. So, yes, May is ending. Since the third week of May, I already cleared the two things that I mentioned in my previous episode. I'm at last feeling very, very free, very big relief. The previous week, I only had like three early mornings, which were two scrap and one for my gym. I can sleep in! <laughs> Sometimes it's not that good though. Actually, there are more cost test stuff I should be doing, but I just got so lazy. Although I get to clear more stuff during daytime. Well, I also start playing a new game. And I've also been starting my Chinese study. Well, I have my oral test in July, so I've been starting to, I don't know, practice my tongue. I did it before I do this recording's preparation. So I'm going to read one. This is the dating book. Ni xiao de hao ke ai ya. E gao ga kawaii ne. Totally for flirting. I also practice the vocabulary. Ni de yi fu hen piao liang. Anata no fuku wa kirei da. Uh, this also sounds like flirting, but no, <laughs> I'm really learning from this. I don't have much to talk about Moko Moko Time, but it seems like I have a lot to update about. So, without further ado, let's go to Fikana's update. Here comes Fikana's update. Wow, I have so much that I wonder if I can talk about everything in three minutes. So, regarding the previous episode, I received m e s s a g e about why did I do so many driving tests? Like, why did I fail so much? For the written test, I always got almost passed. I think I got like 44 instead of like 45, correct answer. Even for the permanent driving license, instead of getting 90 out of 95, I think I got like 89 or 88. It's always so close. For the temporary driving test, the first and the second one, I just got super nervous and I just bumped into what do you call that? The stone beside the road that is to show that this is not a driving area anymore. The Third one, I could do it perfectly already because not only I did one practice inside the test site, but I also just, I don't know, already start to memorize the map, <laughs> already memorize the route. So, regarding the permanent driving license test, because it's on the real road, when the Ojitang taking the wheel or he s t a r t doing sudden brake, it's already pretty much over. The first one, I was so nervous when he asked me to stop at the left side of the road. He thinks that I'm actually driving too fast, thus he took the wheel and he just pressed the brake. And then the second one, inside test side exam, the change of direction, I couldn't do it at all because I wasn't close enough to be able to put in my car by reverse. We can only get like three tries of going in front, going back, going in front, going back, as in undoing. And I did more than that, so it just. Couldn't pass it at all. The third one, there were some construction ongoing, and I was too close to the auditor who is telling us to not stop or to move on. There should actually be one meter between human or between destruction or between bicycle with the car, but I couldn't keep that distance at all, so the instructor took the wheel again. And then the fourth one, I couldn't do change of lane. I was on the very left, suddenly the instructor just told me I want to go to the right. He told me That I was too slow at giving the right signal. And then the fifth one, just clear. To get the driving license, I actually attended also a special lesson that is regarding the highway because in Tokyo we cannot practice highway. Instead, we are needed to attend like this five hours course. We were given a video to watch about highway as well as how to do ADR, something like that. And okay, 
Now to the real update part. <laughs> this is really too long. So state of emergency in Japan is extended in 10 prefectures, in 10 area, including Tokyo, of course. It's extended to June 20. But more places start to open. I think my gym will start opening again from June. Yesterday, I played Shinchan Escape Room game. So I thought that game is cancelled because in early May, when I actually registered for one Final Fantasy Escape Room game, Final Fantasy VII Remake, it was cancelled because Scrap Tokyo Mystery Circus in Shinjuku is actually closed during the emergency state. Apparently, it's too big. But the one in Harajuku, my first time going there, we only 30 people can enter. It's okay for the state of emergency that I went to the event. Well, I hope that movie theaters will open again so I can watch Sita's newest movie. Although the release date is not mentioned yet, it was cancelled due to the state of emergency though. <laughs> because yesterday on the Sunday, I did the 5 a.m. job in scrap and then I had gym right away. Once I came back, I didn't take a single nap. I played game, I studied Chinese, I studied my English instructor qualification thingies, and then I went out to Harajuku to play the Sinchan game and then dinner and then came home. I was really so dead, that's why I couldn't clear any blog posts. Hopefully before I publish this podcast, I will be able to clear at least one blog post for December 2020. Hmm because I do have three, so yes, <laughs> two songs over. <laughs> All right, so for the main talk, I mentioned that I don't really have anything for Mogu Mogu Timer. Well, let me give my excuse <laughs> because today I woke up at 10 and I had banana and milk because after this, I'll be having quite heavy lunch with kare, curry, uh, kare si moiru keda ne, <laughs> with curry as well as with karage fried chicken. That's why I don't want to have any snack right now. I'll just introduce this drink. <laughs> so I always buy drink when I'm going to my teaching job. And my favorite drink actually comes from Famima, Family Mart, one of the convenience stores in Japan. Reason being, it's one liter. Even though once I put it in my bag, it's of course super super heavy. It usually comes in like four or five different flavors of tea. There's also iced coffee, but I don't drink this much iced coffee. This is the one that my partner got me. This is oolong cha. I don't really do oolong cha when I go to work because I think it's too strong. Oolong cha is good when I feel like I ate too much oil. I'll also be bringing this though. It's so strong. <laughs> it's a bit bitter. Usually I'll go for jasmine or I would go for muki cha barley tea because I know barley is good for when there's heat inside the body. My other favorite is jasmine. Yes, I love the fragrance. That's all for Mogu Mogu I'm <laughs> not sure whether this is really Mogu Mogu Taimu, but yes. And for today's main talk, I'll be continuing the keyword alphabet talk. Today I'll be introducing F and G. Starting from F, I'll be talking about fashion and I'll be relating it to Kido Araku, what makes me happy, angry, sad, and enjoy. Starting from happy, I'm the happiest when I wear my favorite colors, red, black, and pink. Well, I will wear black when I think it's a battle day, <laughs> when I think I need to focus, do stressful thing. And I wear pink when, well, I just want to be bubbly, I just want to be happy. And of course, when I want to perform, most of the time I will wear pink. But when I want to perform, I will also wear red because it just gives me confidence. I truly cannot choose which ones I like. Oh, I was talking to my partner about when did I start liking these colors? Actually, when I was in primary school, I liked blue. Or more like I would tell people I like blue because I had the mindset of pink equals to gold. <laughs> and I just want to go against that. I was such a fucker. <laughs> it doesn't really matter that way anyway. Once I start to fall in love with Hotohori, with Suzaku, with Fushigi Yuki, I become a lover of red. And then once I start falling in love with Gothic Lolita, Gosu Lori, I become a fan of black. Of course, that's also related to Visual K because I started finding for black lipstick and black eyeliner and got super emo. <laughs> but at the same time, once I fell in love with Visual K, I became a fan of pink. Hot pink to be exact because I love Hide from X Japan as well as Miyavi. Now, when it comes to angry, I don't like it when it rains. And I think I don't really like winter. <laughs> 
Rain is of course, I don't like it that my clothes got wet My choice of clothes become limited because I would tend to wear boots Or I would only wear sneakers And of course, bringing umbrella means extra luggage And during winter, I just don't like that Even though I'm already wearing cute outfit Everything is like covered by cold <laughs> Then give me a hand <laughs> Of course, I don't really like to wear layers as well Because it just makes me look so stuffy And what makes me sad is usually when I already have an image of what I want to wear But it just doesn't suit me And mostly it's because I find myself fat <laughs> Well, sometimes it does give me motivation to work out mm, I still do gym, so yeah <laughs> I don't hate gym And lastly, what I enjoy a lot is accessorizing I enjoy rings the most I have 10 fingers 4 fingers will be filled with rings <laughs> Lately, I've been trying to do some layering as well mm, Well, it still depends on the day Because some days when I do teaching, I just don't accessorize at all Because some days I may need to move a lot And sometimes my ring just distract the kids <laughs> Some of the kids are just so girly and they just got interested So I do take note of what I'm wearing Ah, I also like earring and lately I'm also into hair accessory That's why I will never cut my hair because I like doing hairstyles as well Although most of the time it's ponytail but I just enjoy wearing ribbons so I like statement earring although lately I'm more into small earring due to convenience I would use mask and then I'm also using spectacles I don't want too much pressure on my ears <laughs> And for G, I'll be talking about game! Not really something I am fond of because I'm not a big gamer. There are still two games that I play every day, mobile games. Every day I would do Sudoku and I would play Yume Hyaku, Sleeping 100 Princess <laughs> puzzle game. Those are the two games that I play every day. Lately, I actually got Trauma Center under a knife. I played this before borrowing my cousin's one but I couldn't do it at all because it's so much race of time Even now, I actually got mad at my boyfriend whenever I couldn't clear a task <laughs> He would say, why are you so violent? Why are you so noisy? <laughs> yes, rarely a game will make me that high when it comes to games that have changed my life, really affected me in life Starting from mobile game will be Mystic Messenger Oh, I really love that one 707 is one of my all-time husband even now And another game will be Ace Attorney I love that a lot and I can't wait for the Nani Legend of Ace Attorney the, Something like that that is coming in July Although I can actually play the Japanese version but I'm just too lazy to read too much of the stories in Japanese <laughs> And another game that I'm really into is of course Persona 5 that I ended up buying the Royal and I also ended up playing the Scramble I also did the cosplays, I bought the merch and I also bought the CD I also went to watch the live action play I also did the gameplay stream as well as the review That shows how much I enjoyed Persona 5 I guess If it's something that my partner did that kinda affected me will be Pokemon Sword and Steel Well I just enjoy collecting Eevee and then he also did the Final Fantasy VII Remake which made me love all the songs, went to the orchestra concert, did the cosplay I also did buy some merch related to it And then another one would be the latest one which is Nia Replicant Well, my most favorite seiyu, Yusasan, Yusa Koji, being one of the cast is one thing But I also found out that the songs are super good, mm, thanks to my partner <laughs> So there are two games that I just gave up First being Yakuza 0 I think it's just too much story that I just don't bother playing anymore The other one is Pikmin Which make me super super anxious because there's time limit I don't really like role playing game I actually enjoy puzzle game the most Or those games that is being called as like train the brain I'm also using that kind of game to teach my kids anime It's about problem solving, about logical thinking Oh, another game that my partner did that I kind of like is Death Stranding Although sometimes I'm like so scared because it's also quite horror But that was also quite nice Oto-san, ikemen desu Ending desu yo Alright, that's all I have for Fikanos Kido Ayaraku episode 5 
えっと、I talk a lot about myself. Well, it's not totally wrong because it's my podcast, but I hope to hear more of everyone's opinion as well as message and comment of what I should be talking about. <laughs> Next week, I will be recording episode 6 on the 7th, which is also Monday, and the next episode will be uploaded on the 11th of June. Before then, I shall complete my blog post for December 2020. Hopefully, I'll do my best. <laughs> I'll be continuing about the keyword alphabet talk. And after G is H, maybe I'll do a home tour. <laughs> well, my home is just an apartment room. We'll see. <laughs> And for today, for this episode, I'm sorry, but I don't have any short song covered prepared. But I'll be giving my hitokoto. Nihongo? Nihongo <laughs> Nihongo de no hitokoto? <laughs> my Japanese short phrase. Kongetsu mo egao de iko? Let's face this man with smile as well. <laughs> I hope that will be fine because June is usually known as the rainy period to you in Japan. So I hope it won't make me too depressed as well.、Mm. <laughs> Sometimes I would get like super bad headache due to the rain. I hope not.、Mm. Alright, thank you for listening. This was V, as always, from Tokyo, Japan, with lots of love. Thank you for listening. This was V. Take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy. <laughs>